Okay, we're going to make these pictures available to you. It'll show you a picture of the backpack and the rifle. And there's also a GoPro on the fence there where he was uh, intent on uh, filming what was going on. Even though we're going to have to secure a couple of areas around the, the golf course here, the public doesn't need to panic. We know that we got a post office, a library, and a school down the street. So we'll make it convenient for you to get to all the places you need to go, get your kids to school, get them over here to the post office or wherever else you need to go. It's safe. There's no more danger here, and we'll make it very convenient for you. So having said that, we're going to take a very limited amount of questions, and you can direct them to who you want to answer the question. Sure. Did this individual make any statements as he was being detained? No statement right now as far as his involvement in the incident and uh, there was further investigation to be completed. What was his demeanor like? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if you can sort of tell the answer. I misunderstood, or couldn't quite understand, because there was a rifle, so one of your agents saw, uh, on the golf course, saw a rifle pointing to a fence with a chain link open, okay. So he saw that, the agent? That is correct, yes. And the, and the president, or the former president, was on the course behind him, how close? It was one or two holes behind. That because the bubble moves uh, through the uh, golf course, so our agents will get there first, clear it. He noticed that the rifle was pointed out. Our agents engaged. Uh, we are not sure right now if the individual was able to take a shot at our agents, uh, but for sure our agents were able to uh, to engage with the uh, with the soldier. I, I, I don't know. That doesn't appear so. Yep. Ow. How far away was the president, how, how far away was Donald Trump when this gentleman was caught and stopped? Probably between three and 500 yards, but with a rifle and a scope like that, that's not a long distance. For the Secret Service, uh, how far was your agent from the would-be assailant? That I, I, I'm not. I'm not sure right now. That's we're still looking into. Reports that. are that four rounds of ammunition were fired. Were all four of them your agent? That is correct. Four to six. We're not sure yet. Was there a long distance? Explain why. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Say that one more time and talk up a little bit. Um, so, how was this able to happen? And for future reference, is there any up security in the golf course? Well, you got to understand the golf course is surrounded by shrubbery. So, so, when somebody gets into the shrubbery, they're pretty much out of sight. All right. And at this level that he is at right now, he's not the city president. If he was, we would have had this entire golf course around it. Well, because he's not, the security is limited to the areas that the Secret Service deems possible. So I would imagine that the next time he comes at a golf course, there'll probably be a little bit more people around the perimeter. But the Secret Service did exactly what they should have done. They provided exactly what the protection should have been, and their agent did a fantastic job. Which direction was the shrub where he was? North, south? <coughs> The layout of the golf course, you've got three holes, five, six, and seven, right? One of them runs parallel to Summit Boulevard. One of them runs parallel to Congress. And he was in an area in the, shrub in the uh, shrubbery where he could see both holes. So the president was another hole back, which means he's about between four and 500 yards away. So he was on the golf course? Oh, he's on the golf course, yeah, but he's back a ways. For the Secret Service, have you guys changed at all the way that you guys are former president Donald Trump is now second, potential second attempt on him. Can you just elaborate on how things have changed and what you make of all this? Yes, the, the threat level is high. Uh, we have increased the, uh, the amount of assets that we've supported. So we are, um, we live in danger times. So, yes. Okay. Uh, the, uh, what, oh, we're done with questions right now. There's really m nothing more for us to add. I just want to tell you, the Secret Service and the FBI and the State Attorney's Office have been fantastic to work with. And I can tell you right now, our agency with this real-time crime center was fabulous. That's how we got the guy. We started out with, we don't know anything, 
to where we had a tag, we had a vehicle description, and we got an area where we saw the person. So be proud, be proud of your law enforcement.